Hello everyone, my name is Ayu Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install Callout Z into your LSVDFR. This is yet again another number one trending mod currently on lcpdfr.com. So I thought I'd hop in here and show you guys how to install it. It has very, very basic requirements beside this guy right here, which is open all interiors. If you guys do want to know how to install that, then make sure you guys do stick around. Then I'm going to show you guys how to install that as well in the video. But also make sure you guys do click the link here so you are ready to install it once we get to that. If you do want to watch that you can also see here it has some recommended plugins most of you guys will already have stop the pen installed if you don't and i do have a video on how to do that and i'll leave that in the info card in the top right or down in the description below and the same with this guy right here most of you guys might not have this installed but if you don't don't worry if you don't want to install it there's no need but if you do want to install it you can also check out my video down in the description below on this too if i do forget to put those in the description below just let me know in the comment section and i will put them in there because sometimes i do forget here you can view the current callouts and other than that what you guys are going to want to do is hit download this file agree and download and then install the latest version available to you click here to speed it up a little bit and for some reason my ls file is bugging so it takes a little bit of time to uh to respond when i click here but once it's done downloading open it up and then go to callout z go into plugins and here will be your callout files and usually, like most plugins, they haven't actually included the main directory root completely. Normally, there will be plugins in LSPDFR, and then this is where the files be. So you can't just drag and drop plugins because it will not work. And it will try to add it as a standalone plugin, not with LSPDFR if you do that. So to install this, what you guys are going to want to do is go into your file explorer. Find your GTA 5 main directory. So for those guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. But for those guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory and how to get to it will be down in the description below. But as I said, for those of you guys on Steam, go to whatever drive your Steam is installed on. Program Files 86, go down to Steam, go down to Steam Apps, and then Common, and choose your GTA 5 main directory. But for me, like some of you guys, it might be under a custom directory over here. Once you guys are inside of your GTA 5 modded main directory, you guys will want to grab these files here. Navigate to plugins and then LSPDFR and simply drag and drop these in like so. And there you guys go. You've now successfully installed Callout Z. Now for the second part, what you guys are going to want to do is go back at the second download link in the description below. Or if you already have it opened up, like I said, make sure you guys hit download. For some reason, it's in German because that's what the guy had. Save it. That's not the right thing. What you guys are going to want to do is click here and then save it. And then open it on up, and here you'll be able to see you have your you have your open interiors ASI and any go along with it. So it's very very simple to install this. If you look at the README, it does say somewhere how to install them. But I'm going to make sure you guys are definitely installing it correctly, so you guys are unsure. But as you guys can see here, this is quite an important thing. You do need to make sure you guys have Scriptv already installed because this is an ASI any directly into the GTA 5 main directory. To install this, what you guys want to do is go into File Explorer, get you back to your GTA 5 main directory, not inside any folders, just inside your GTA 5 main directory, grab these files and drag and drop them in. And there you go, just like that, you've also installed open interiors into your GTA 5. Hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys do want to support the channel a little bit further, you can leave a super chat, which is something that hasn't happened yet on the channel. But if you do want to be the first, then please be sure to do that. You can also check out the channel memberships in the little join button next to subscribe, but you can join the channel from as little as 99p a month and get early access to all of my videos. Other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.